Legoland Discovery Center is hosting its first ever Cities of the Future competition. It's challenging classrooms across Metro Detroit to put on their thinking caps and participate. Here to tell us more about the competition is Legoland's master model builder, Clint Perry. Appreciate you stopping in with Absolutely. us this morning. Absolutely. Now, what I love about this, just first off, people are going to have their eyes glued to this. Tell me a little bit. This is a good demonstration of what maybe we could see things yeah. come up. Yeah, so this competition is all about getting uh, entire classrooms to think critically about their own city in ways that they can improve it in the future. So they're supposed to envision what their city should look like in 200 years, what kind of improvements there might be, what kind of things that uh, they think should be in the perfect city of the future. So here I've just made a quick little mock-up of uh, what I think Detroit could look like in 200 years. So uh, of course I've got the Ren Zen because it starts with your city. Perfect. You know, you want to make sure that you're thinking forward about your city the way you want it to be. So I believe in Detroit, so I think it could go, you know, way, way better than it is now. And uh, so I've got uh, the Ren Zen in the center. It's got solar energy. It's got wind turbines. Uh, I've also got a vertical farm here. So we have uh, vegetables being grown on multi levels inside of a skyscraper with uh, mirrors that help redirect the light inside. So uh, it's it's uh, supposed to be thinking about creative ways to uh, improve your city. Now, any any classroom can get involved with this that matches uh, uh, the the age group. But yep. let me ask, do they have to have the Legos? They do not have to have the Legos. Because this so, adds up. <laughs> yep, so it's uh, any K through 5 classroom can enter the competition. Uh, the way that they enter is by uh, creating their submission in whatever creative way that they would like. So if they've got Lego, they can do that, but that's absolutely not necessary because I know that not every classroom has access to as much Lego as they want. So if they want to draw pictures, if they want to write a description, if they want to create a video, uh, they're perfectly able to do that. So uh, the way that they enter is by submitting to uh, Michigan at LegolandDiscoveryCenter.com. Uh, they just email a link or the actual documents or whatever to that uh, email address. And the beautiful thing is, is if you are the winner, your classroom wins, you guys get to have Clint build it for you. You'll actually see your vision come to life just like this one, but perhaps even bigger and better if your kids take off and get creative. I want to pull up some information on the screen here for you so you guys know where to send that information off to, and we'll also put that online at WXYZ.com coming up after the show. You can see uh, a lot of classrooms getting involved in that, that email address, make sure you check that out. We'll be coming back in just a moment.